we're back with another vid. You know how it is, your boy always comes through with the good, you know what I'm saying, this, that. And I have got an absolute treat for you. What we are gonna do today is a little something called a mukbang. Now if you have no idea what a mukbang is, good for you. Looks like you actually have a life. Looks like you're using your brain to store more important information. Well, allegedly, I have no idea. But basically what a mukbang video is, is I eat, you enjoy, I suffer, and you enjoy even more. And of course, if you are brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're returning, make sure you uh, don't unsubscribe. That would be the worst possible scenario. Now for my first mukbang video, first ever, definitely not the last, what I decided to do was to feast on one of my favorite snacks in the entire world. And it's a snack that dates back to my childhood. Uh, there is a little bakery in Chinatown called the Emperor's Garden Cakes and Bakery. And what they do is they prepare a very delectable treat called an Emperor Puff. I've actually got, I actually got two boxes because I'm that hungry and I'm so excited to eat them. I just couldn't contain myself. They are little dumplings. They're, they're sweet dumplings. They got like a little crispy coating and inside they actually have Custard. Oh, there was a little burnt bit that dropped off. They're filled with custard. They are cooked fresh to order and they are absolutely delicious when they are fresh. These ones have gone a bit spongy because I had to uh, drive them home. So they're not as fresh as they can be. So what I did is I got 36 of them. They might not look like much, but trust me, after about six or seven of these, you're gonna start to feel really, really full. So I have a feeling this might be a really bad idea. And it's gonna be made even worse. Oh, it's so heavy. With this thing here, this is a mega one liter milk tea. Fuck's sake. Mm. Uh, look at that custard goodness. How good is that? Oh yeah. Custard is still warm. Mm. Even though they're not as crispy as they usually are, still delicious. Still good. Still good for number two. Mom, I'm not here to waste time. I'm not here to uh, F U C K spiders. I'm here to eat. I'm here to make myself throw up. Mm. Very good. Very, very good. Mm. Probably one of my top five snack foods of all time, these are. Oh, good. Fantastic. Well, usually what you do when they're fresh is you'll you'll bite off a little segment right in the middle, like that, and then you'd see steam just bellow out of the top. So you would just you'd bite the top off, let the steam escape for about a minute or so, pop them in your mouth, and they're at a nice temperature. They're not going to scold your tongue, but they are warm enough to provide a nice fuzzy feeling in your gut, which is a feeling that we all need. It's a great feeling. Sometimes life, get the hell out of here. Sometimes life doesn't give us the opportunity to feel a lovely warm fuzzy feeling. So that's why we replace the lack of fuzziness in life with food. And what could be better? Because food is fucking delicious. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. And the bite size too, you can just pop them straight in. That's it. If you like to live, you like to live on the wild side, if you like to take a walk in Chinatown, just, you just pop them in and just feel that rush, man. It's great. Mm. This is really tasty. Mm -hmm. So, I had my um, I had my internet service disconnected yesterday. Not because I didn't pay my bill or anything. It's because I'm switching providers and there can't be an existing service at the property if you want another service because they need to do coding and the wires and and all that shit. So I, as of yesterday, am without Wi-Fi. So, no online gaming for me, uh, no nothing. I can't even upload this video. I can't. So this video is just gonna sit in the can, as they say, that's a film term, in the can, for about two weeks until I can upload it. 
But it's, it's, oh shit. I thought I was sitting on something. It's very much a case of short term loss. Oh, I spat. I'm all over the place. It's a short, short, I'm just in heaven right now. I just can't think. It's short term loss but with a long-term gain because I am switching from a not so good ISP, check the internet slang. I'm, ch I'm changing from a not so good ISP to a relatively good ISP. Now, this is all in theory. I have no idea if this other ISP is gonna be good and I'm not gonna name and shame. I'm not about that life. <coughs> I'm switching from <coughs> Optus, <coughs> Optus <coughs> disconnected service. <coughs> Uh, I'm gonna be with Aussie Broadband. Aussie Broadband, mate. That's true blue. You're gonna go. You're gonna go with the uh, the Aussie company first and foremost, don't you? Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm hoping that with this brand new service, I'm actually gonna have upload speeds greater than 0 0.92, which is the current upload speed that I have, or well, former upload speed that I have. And uh, for, for you tech nerds out there, you know that's not a lot. That is actually terrible. So when I actually get around to uploading videos that I film, um, sometimes if they, they, the videos I do are usually around 11 to 12 minutes. I'm trying to cut them down because I think that's too long. And <coughs> oh, this one's going to be longer. <coughs> but when I, when I actually have to upload the video, like it's all finished, it's ready to go. I'm ready to just, just, show myself off to the world, ready to put myself out there. And it takes like 12 to 14 hours to upload the video. So what I'll do is I'll upload it just before I go to bed, get like seven, eight hours of sleep, and then it'll still be uploading. And then I go to work and it's still uploading. And then I just have to just keep checking YouTube just to find out when it's actually published. So that's what I had to deal with. So you can understand why I was so frustrated with the uh, internet service provider that I had, Optus, it was with Optus, and also with the shitty upload speeds, I couldn't actually stream anything. So that's something I want to do quite often is stream, whether it's games, whether it's me eating, whether it's me playing Toro Bell Crane game, I just want to be able to stream and not have it look like dog shit and not have the stream drop out every two minutes. That's usually what you get with a, an internet upload speed of 0 0.92. So, I've had enough. I said, you know what? You're gonna, it's done, man. You're gonna do it. So I did it. It's very scary. It's, it's like I'm back in the Stone Age, although I'm filming on an iPhone in front of a MacBook in front of a Rode microphone. But uh, in some ways, it feels like I've gone back in time. Hmm. So yes, I can't wait. So you're gonna have to wait a few weeks for this video. I'm gonna upload, well, I would have uploaded a, a quick update, just a quick 30 second message telling people, listen, there's not gonna be any videos for about two weeks because uh, your boy had got no net. He ain't got no internet. He ain't got no internet. He ain't got no internet. Also means I can't play Overwatch. Well, I can. I can technically tether my phone to the Xbox and play Overwatch, but mm, I've done that in the past. Bad idea. Very bad idea. Not good. But I've got offline games I can play. I've got a PS2. I've got Crash uh, the Insane Trilogy, which was lent to me by a friend. I can still play that. So I'm not too worried about getting my uh, gaming time in, because you know I'm a hardcore gamer. Ooh, yeah. Gotta get that gaming time in, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Very good. We are. Oh, I'm gonna finish the first container. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. As time goes on, it's gonna hit me. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. This doesn't really look like a whole lot. And um, I probably agree with you. I was really tempted to get three containers. So three containers is, I think it's, I think it's 52. Or 54. I think it's 54 Emperor Puffs, um, which I could have done. I think I could easily do that. I, I say that now. I haven't even eaten 36. Um, but I kind of wanted to just do a mukbang, but not do it to the point where 
I just hate the food that I'm eating because I love these and I don't want the memory to be tarnished and I don't want to be in a situation where I just never want to eat them again. You know, when you get that, when you 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 have a bad experience with food and it just completely ruins that food for you. I don't want that at all. If that happens, I'm going to be so upset. I'm actually going to cry, man. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Most I've eaten by myself was about 14 and I was, I actually looked pregnant after I finished eating them. I looked not good, not good at all. <laughs> Keep forgetting about the tea as well. This is what's gonna do it. This is what's gonna set me over the edge. Mm. Meat dessert. It's from a nice little Taiwanese dessert place. It's on, um, it's on George Street in the city. It's in the little arcade where, um, where Time Zone, uh, Time Zone, Greater Union, there's a Char Time, there's a Hungry Jacks. I think people know where the strip that I'm talking about. It's the part where <coughs> the roads are all closed because they're, they're building the, the light rail. It's that little area. That's where I got, <coughs> oh goodness, that's where I got that. Oh, my neck hurts. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, what else did I do today? Mm. I finally pre-ordered my uh, Let's Go Eevee Switch. Finally, finally, finally. So I get the I get the Let's Go Eevee Switch. I get the game Let's Go Eevee installed already. I get um, the the Pokeball Plus, whatever that fucking thing's called. I get that. Very cool. And uh, oh. I forgot to order the Pikachu Pop vinyl. That's what I forgot. Man. That's right. Still got time. Still a few months. But uh, I got it. I finally pre-ordered it. I've been putting it off for ages. Because um, I really I need a Switch. I don't have a Switch. I need one. Um, but I thought, you know what? Why not treat yourself? Go all out and get the premium. There's a friggin' aeroplane overhead. Go away. I'm trying to eat Emperor Puffs. Don't be so rude. It's one of the perks of living uh, under a flight path, is you just get interrupted every five minutes. Mm. But yes, I thought I'd treat myself and get the bougiest uh, Nintendo Switch I've ever seen. And that's what I'm gonna get. We're on to box number two. Ooh, smells delicious. Look at that. Mmm, that's some squishy goodness. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. All right, let's take a break from those for a bit. Oh, I wanna get down to here. That's where I need to be at. I need to pick up my game, man. Mm. It's the one instance where being a teetotaler is not a good idea. Not good. Mm. I really feel in the mood to watch um, to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, it's a show that my girlfriend watches, and um, I would occasionally watch an episode or two here or there. And I never really like really got into it, um, but I forget what it was. I think we sat down to watch. Like, uh, whatever season it was, and we watched a few episodes in a row, and I realised that that show is pretty much my idea of a perfect TV show. Because because it has it has pretty much everything that I personally look for, right? So it's got, uh, it's trashy, right? It's got a great amount of trash, but it's also highly produced, so it's good quality trash, which isn't always a good thing. But in this instance, it is. Um, it's very funny. It's very funny. There's a good amount of drama. Lots of people are bitchy. And um, there's just a whole bunch of shade being thrown around. So that's really entertaining. Um, it's a really inclusive show as well. Obviously, it's about drag queens. 95% of everybody in the TV show is gay, which is great. Good to give them a platform. And it's... it's like it's a, an expression of art as well. You see some just crazy costumes. You see like perfect makeup and dancing and singing. It's it's like a variety show in a couple of ways. And they do challenges where they have to. Um, oh shit! 
they have like musical challenges, they have like sitcom challenges, um, they have uh, like seamstress challenges where they're going to make their own dress. They've got all, like the 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 variety of challenges throughout the year is very very diverse, and also um, it seems every year that like the show has its staples. But it also has new things that it introduces every year. Um, one of my favourite staples, probably the Drag Race staple, is uh, the Snatch Game. The Snatch Game it is a parody of Match Game, the old uh, 70s and 80s game show. And basically what the drag queens do is they pick a celebrity to impersonate. And the idea of the game is to make RuPaul laugh. That's all you have to do. We've seen some almost dead on impersonations. Let's see, there's a guy, his name's Chad Michaels, and he is a professional celebrity impersonator. Um, he specializes in impersonating, oh shit, Sher, and uh, he did one of the best Snatch Game performances ever as Sher. We had someone impersonate Judge Judy, that was Bianca Del Rio, uh, Lil Edie from um, that show, I forget what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Jinx Monsoon, but yeah. You did good, you did good, it was a great performance. Um, and then you have people that just just completely butchered celebrities like Lady Gaga and Beyonce and a whole bunch of other people. It's not good to watch. Actually, I lie, it's great to watch. It's fantastic comedy. Mm. I better move on. Oh, far out. Mm hmm. Mm. Here we go. I've been picking at this, so I haven't really kept count of how many I'm up to. But it doesn't matter. As long as I finish them all, it doesn't matter, man. Who's keeping track of the score? This isn't cricket. It's not basketball. The points don't matter. It's like, whose line is it anyway? The points do not matter. Mm. Might show you what I got in the mail this morning. Um, this is not for me. I want to preface that by saying it's not for me. Um, I would actually buy something like this, but in this particular instance, this particular item is not for me. Um, that that is Rilakkuma. It's a uh, I don't know, it's um, it's a good eye, some bear, some Japanese bear, um, and he has a cake. There it is. He's got a little cake that's uh, the girl Rilakkuma, Korilakuma. Um, the cake, it's got candles, you can put stickers on it. Uh, this is for my girlfriend, she knows about it, so the spoiled surprise is no more. It never was actually, she wanted me to buy it, so that's why I bought it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cake, you put stickers on it. It's cute. Yeah, I don't know, she wanted it. I said, uh, no worries, bi uh, uh, baby. It's yours. It's yours, it was really expensive as well. Apparently it's, it's rare. Apparently it's rare. I believe her. it was expensive enough to be considered rare in my book. Oh goodness. Man, this, this is really getting to me now. This is, uh, this is the point where I thought I'd hit a wall, but like any wall that you hit, you need to, you need to not hit that wall again, and you need to move on. That's what you need to do. I'm gonna move this plate though. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Mm. I'm just gonna check to see how long the camera's been filming for. <laughs> just a little joke between us, friends. <laughs> But seriously, I am actually going to vomit after all this, so don't laugh too hard. Mm. I mean, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've got 12! Oh, I'm only 24 deep. I, I, I'll say it again. I implore you people, oh, I probably got stuff in my, I probably had stuff in my beard the whole time and I didn't even know. I'm gonna implore you people, I say you people, my friends, um, it doesn't look like a lot, 
But remember, these are filled with custard. These are filled with custard, they're very dense, and they're very filling, okay? So all you haters in the comment section saying, oh man, those are nothing, those are small, you're just a pussy. Possibly, but I think uh, I think a lot of people would struggle with this, so. I was trying to do that Katy Perry song, which is not a good idea, and I wouldn't recommend that to anyone, ever. <laughs> mm. I've barely touched this. What the hell? <sighs> I gotta do it, man. I can't quit. Mm. There's no telling what a liter of sweet milk will do to the the, the human body. Oh, and I'm gonna find out what it's gonna do. I'm a human guinea pig. I'm doing all this for science. And for no other reason. Not even for views, because no one's gonna watch it. It's strictly just for science. I'm gonna send this off to Harvard once I'm finished. Well, actually, I can't. I gotta wait two weeks for my new internet before I can send off anything. <laughs> oh. I have sensitive teeth. Oh, that's cold. I'm surprised it's so cold because it sat in my car for like 40 minutes. Still good. Still got a nice chill to it. Mm. SMH no chill, bruh. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm gonna find power for the time. Man, what about Donald Trump? Hey, for controversial. Oh. Um, I wonder if there's anything else I can show you that I bought recently. Mm. Nah. Um, what I have been doing with my time and my money lately, um, I've been playing a game called Crane Game Toreba. Um, it's a, it's a, it's, it's an app, uh, and it has a series of little crane games that you can play. It's 100% legit. Um, you use real money for it. You can win real prizes. Um, I think the company's based in Japan, so they are, like, exclusive Japanese, um, UFO catcher items that you can't really buy anywhere else unless someone sells them. Um, and yeah, you just play on your iPhone and you control a, a crane in real time and you try to win prizes. Um, I've spent a lot of money on it, um, but I've won prizes, so... Uh, it, ha it has been worth it. It has been worth it. It's really fun. Me and my girlfriend play it. Uh, we get really into it. Um, I've won a few uh, squishy toys. Let me show you. I haven't got one of them, but I'll show you what a squishy toy is. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, your boy thick. Oh, your boy packing some Emperor Puffs. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Your boy. Your boy is dragging a fucking wagon. That's a, that's a squishy toy. You would have seen these before. Look at that. How satisfying is that? So we've won a few of these. Um, a few Pokemon fans out there. I won a Mimikyu soft toy. Oh, I spat again, that is disgusting. I want a Mimikyu toy, it's 28 centimeters tall. So it's a big one. It's a big one, it's probably bigger than all those. Um, and I want it on one attempt, like actually on one attempt. I have the video, I should post it. I, I, oh, oh, made my entire year when I won that thing, it was incredible. Look at that, squish, squish, squish. I should do a mukbang where I eat squishies. I don't think I'd get very far because uh, my colon would block up and um, yeah, I'd die. I'd, I'd, I'd die. It's not a bad idea actually. Hmm. But then I can't upload it. Yeah, I'll get my estate to upload it. Once I'm dead and buried. <coughs> oh shit. Then we drop one. All right, I've got seven. I've got seven to go. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Get it over and done with. I feel, 
I feel really sick. Ugh. Mm. Gosh. Why do I do this? Why did I do this to myself? Mm. They're so good though. They're so good. I want to look at some memes on my computer. That might distract me from the impending doom that is going to be coming out of my body. I have a lot of shit on here. What the hell? Ugh. I got some of my old acting headshots that I've got on this computer for some reason. Really gross. What was I thinking? Yeah, I used to rock like a really, really full, luscious beard. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't really like it anymore. Probably not going to grow a beard back again. <laughs> yeah, I had like, I had hair that's like similar to the hair that I have now, but the sides were really, really short and um, the hairline would sort of come, it would sort of stop here. So I would have it shaved up this point here. And I look like a, I look like a criminal. I look like I've just gotten out of juvie. Yeah, not my favourite look ever. Definitely one for the history books of where it's going to stay. Uh, but I think I've improved since then. I like a nice, neater, shorter trimmed beard. Definitely uh, shows off the jawline a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, me, you don't touch me. Oh yeah, you might be wondering why I have headshots. Well, I actually work on the side as a professional actor. Um, I have done a few, a few big budget commercials actually. Um, I've been featured in commercials by Powerball, by Johnny Walker, by IINet, which is an Australian ISP, internet service provider. Check the lingo. Man, that's twice in one video. I'm high tech. And also Commonwealth Bank, which is an Australian bank. Um, yeah, I, I was really lucky to get all of those roles because um, the Australian acting scene is not what it is overseas, so it's quite scarce at times. It can be quite barren. Um, so any opportunity you get is just a, a blessing, an absolute blessing. You can't really describe how much of a blessing it is. Um, and I was lucky enough to do a few, a few commercials, um, a lot of which. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a, I've got a level with you. See, the uh, recording device that I was using to film the video with, um, it actually died. The battery went flat. This is this is what I got left. And look, is this the stomach of a man that's telling you lies? No, it's not. I had like a five minute rest to recharge the recording device. So hopefully no more of that is gonna happen. Oh. Here they are. There's one left. Honestly, when I saw that the, the phone was flat, I, I thought that I just spent 25 bucks on all this sugary stuff for nothing. I thought I put my body through heck for absolutely nothing. Oh. Well, here we are. We actually made it to the end. Here we go. Oh. oh. It's so good, but the feeling that I have is so not good. Note to self, never eat 36 Emperor Puffs ever again. <laughs> Why? It was very appropriate that I was wearing a Guy Fieri shirt for this as well. Because I went to Flavortown and I didn't particularly enjoy it, so I'm gonna not come back for a while. I might come back later. Well, um, that's all the Emperor Puffs finished. Um, I feel like total death. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna finish this tea, I swear. No, I'll finish it. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the vid. If you did like the video, make sure you slap a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you uh, subscribe as well. That'd be fantastic. Share it with your friends if you want to see an idiot make himself completely sick for next to no reward. Well, hey, I've got the video for you. Oh, time to go find the toilet. I'll see you later. <laughs>